And then I explained in very simple terms about substitutionary atonement, that the judge took off his robe and got in the dock and took the punishment for us so that we could be set free. So Greg has the judge himself accepting the judgment or sentence as opposed to just waving it away. This is obviously great news for the individual offender, but is likely to remain a miscarriage of perceived justice to the victim and to society at large. If the judge takes a violent criminal's jail sentence, society is no longer protected from the violence. If the judge's driver's license is taken away for each speeding ticket, there's no deterrent for reckless drivers. If the judge pays everyone's child support, then parents have abdicated responsibility to their offspring. Greg's isn't an appeal to our intuition about justice. This is an appeal to our selfish desires to escape consequences. A far less noble goal, at least in this YouTuber's opinion.